Hey everybody, this is Franco, and today I want to talk about the Centroid Acorn. This is an exciting new product that is available now, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. And I want to take a couple of minutes to share with you uh, what I've learned about the Centroid Acorn. Is it the best DIY CNC available? Well, maybe by the end of this presentation, you'll be able to answer that question. Who is Centroid? It's important to talk about who they are because right now uh, there are a lot of people entering the CNC uh, space. So it's exciting. There's a lot of options out there for the DIY, you know, hobby or semi-professional uh, CNC user. There are control systems coming from all over the place. There's the, the tried and true options like Mach 3 and Mach 4. Um, there's a whole bunch of uh, Linux based systems out there that I personally don't know much about, but I know they, they're out there. They've been out there for a long time. There's also all these Kickstarter companies that um, they just seem like they're, they're coming out of the woodwork. Um, you know, I, I don't know a, a lot about them, but it seems like every one of their brothers is trying to come to the market right now with some kind of CNC control system. That can be a little overwhelming because you're not really sure who to go with. Well, who is Centroid? Centroid has over 30 years of experience building CNC control systems. Their uh, business is located in Pennsylvania, and as far as I can tell, it's a family-owned business, and it's uh, you know you know it's pretty cool to see that happen. Uh, they currently offer a full line of industrial-grade CNC retrofit solutions, so they can they can put a uh, control on just about anything, any kind of lathe or milling machine or router or any kind of machine you can imagine. They have a, a complete retro kit, retrofit kit for that application. Also, many new CNC machines ship from the factory with Centroid controls. So uh, I know personally where I work, there are, there are some CNC equipment that brand new came from the factory with a Centroid control on it. Centroid also builds their own line of CNC equipment. They make uh, some five axis machines and uh, you know I think it's kind of maybe sort of specialized for the automotive industry but uh, you know very expensive five axis milling machines. They are now offering this same industrial grade software and hardware in a package that's accessible to the DIY user. So that's pretty cool. So these guys have been doing this for a long time. They didn't just, this isn't just a Kickstarter company, a couple of people in a basement that decided they want to try to make a product for uh, CNC. These are guys and gals who have been doing this for 30 years. What is the Acorn CNC control kit? It is a combination of software and a high speed motion control board. So this system will let you control up to four axes using industry standard step and direction signals. That's important because um, you know most of the equipment you're going to use in your, your CNC builds, your, your retrofits, you're going to want to use step and direction signals. Uh, you can interface with switches and sensors using eight inputs. So the board has eight inputs on it for reading your limit switches and you know, things like that. Uh, you can also control uh, external devices using out eight outputs. So you have you have eight inputs. You also have eight outputs. That's how you can turn your relays off and on to, you know, control pumps and uh, things like that. You also, and this is important. The system uh, it works with industry standard M and G code programs. So all your standard uh, commands that you would be used to working with on you know industrial grade CNC machines. The system does it because it's born and bred from an industrial grade CNC control. You can also, and this is really cool, you can quickly generate toolpaths right at the machine using the uh, Centroid Intercon conversational programming system. This is something that's easily overlooked but is incredibly valuable. The um, other CAM or other, you know, uh, control systems. They try to facilitate this, but they don't always do it very well. But this system has a really good, very mature 
uh, conversational interface that lets you create, you know, pretty complicated, uh, you know, multi-tool uh, programs with a lot of geometry, and you can do it very quickly right at the uh, right at the machine. So, what is the Acorn CNC Control Kit? Well, it's designed to work with all different types of machines, but it's you know really well suited for things like you know bed mills knee mills, lathes, CNC routers. So really these types of machines, this, this system is just very well suited for it. Uh, now in the slide I'm showing, you know, larger equipment, but you know, all your, uh, you know, the, the machines you're buying from Precision Matthews or from Grizzly, your GO704, your PM25, PM30MV, um, all these types of machines, uh, this kit, is is great for that. The Acorn, uh, the Acorn CNC conversion kit, the Acorn kit here is basically it's your foundation for a, a complete, you know, fully functional CNC control system. This uh, image can't, comes from the Centroid website, and I know it's small; you can't read the font on here. You can check it out on their website. I just wanted to throw it on here to just to give you an overall picture that you know this board can facilitate the connections, all the connections you need. Your drivers, you know, probes, limit switches. It has a DB25 header on here. You can plug this thing right into a, a, a gecko board. You don't have you, you don't have to solder anything. You just literally DB25 cable, it plugs right in. You have an input for an encoder, a real encoder. Um, that's a, a, a great feature for a board at this price point. You also have an analog output, you know, zero to 10 volts to run your, your variable frequency drives. This connection, or this connects to your PC using an ethernet connection. I mean, that's the best thing you can get better than USB. The uh, kit, they supply you with a power supply, um, which I think is really nice considering the price. Um, and as we mentioned before, you have eight inputs, eight outputs, you know, so you can facilitate a lot of uh, connections to sensors and switches and, and relays. So the Acorn's not, um, this isn't some sort of little, little rinky dink, you know, uh, board that you're going to buy on eBay. This is a, a fully, fully functioned, uh, feature rich system. All right. Now let's talk about the board a little bit. So it is based, the board, it has an onboard AM335X, one gigahertz ARM Cortex A8 processor. And this is what's controlling the CNC motion. The board is not dependent on the PC CPU for the critical motion control for inputs, for outputs, and other machine tool functions. The Acorn board handles all that. So that means you get rock solid CNC control. It doesn't hiccup or get bogged down by Windows, by Windows interfering with the PC CPU, by you know the hard drive spooling up, all these weird little things that can affect the performance. That's not an issue because the Acorn board is actually its own processor uh, and it handles all of that. And without going into too much detail, I'll let you do your research on your own. But I can tell you that the uh, hardware that they chose to, to build this board uh, is built around a, a single board computer called the Beagle Bone Green, I believe, it comes from Seed Studio. Seed, excuse me, it comes from Seed Studio. This is a a single board computer that was actually developed uh, with with CNC control in mind. So it's you know, it's different than like a Raspberry Pi or, or something like that. This board was actually designed from the ground up to do CNC control. And it has some features on it that uh, the other single board computers don't have that make this board perform better for that type of application. So it's a really good choice uh, to base this, um, this system around. So there it is. There's the board. Talk about it a little bit more. The board has eight optically isolated inputs and eight, opt eight outputs, uh, six open collector and two relay. So it does have two uh, relays built right onto the board. 
it has a uh, DB9 connection for an encoder. So this is a big deal. This board actually facilitates connection to a real encoder. Um, and we'll talk about why that's good later on in the presentation, but it's there. It has a 12-bit analog, a 0 to 10 volt DC output for controlling variable frequency drives. So it's, that's important if you want to run a, um, you know, a VFD, this board can do that. It can handle uh, four axes. It's a four axis, it has four axis drive interface connections. So, um, you know, you got X, Y, and Z, or maybe a rotary axis. If you have a router and you have uh, two motors for your Y axis, like you have a, a traveling column type of machine, uh, this can handle that. So you have one for X, two for Y, one for Z. Um, it has a reliable Ethernet connection for communicating with the Windows 10 PC. Ethernet's the best connection you can get. It's better than USB. It's more stable. So there's really good features on this board. It also has a legacy DB25 connection and it conforms to the Gecko G540 pinouts. So this is really cool. So if you have, you know, let's say you're a, uh, an old Mach 3 user and you want to upgrade to, you know, uh, you know, something better, you don't have to go through a lot of trouble. You can, you can sort of swap out your old stuff, bring the Acorn in, plug it right into that DB25 connection and off you go. And it conforms to the Gecko pinouts. So that's kind of like the industry standard for that stuff. It's a really nice feature. Uh, don't overlook that. It also has screw down terminals. So anything that goes to the DB25 uh, uh, connection, you also have access to it through these uh, all these screw terminals that are all over the edge of the board. Uh, and they're good. It's well constructed board. No need for soldering. Everything can be connected either through the DB25 or through the screw down connectors. And as we mentioned before, this board is compatible with all motors and all drives that use step and direction inputs. So you can you can buy really high end, super expensive, um, you know, motors and drives. Uh, if you want, you can jump out on eBay and buy the really inexpensive, you know, you know, bargain stuff. It's all going to work with this board. All right, let's talk about the software. The software is called CNC 12. So what this is, is a high performance CNC control software. It has a 2000 line acceleration and deceleration look ahead. Uh, it can read 1200 blocks per second. It can control up to four axes. You can do three axis simultaneous control. So all your uh, 3D surfacing and contouring, you know, this software is very well suited for it. Uh, I don't have it on the slide, but there's also some features built into the software that'll help, you know, sort of smooth out a lot of that 3D motion. That's it's some proprietary algorithms that uh, Centroid has to improve the performance of your your high speed uh, three axis machining, your surfacing toolpaths. This software is touch is touch screen compatible, so you don't have to have a touch screen to make it work. But if you do, it completely enhances the, the use of the product. So I, I actually went out and picked up a touch screen and uh, I'll never go back. It, it works great. Um, what they've done is on the right side of the, the screen, they've made this virtual uh, keypad basically. So all the buttons that would have been like hard buttons, you know, mechanical switches and stuff that you know, you'd have to pay a lot of money for, um, they took all that functionality and they built it into the, a, a touchscreen format. It's really cool. And as we mentioned before, the software is 100% compatible with industry standard M and G code programming. So that's really important because um, when you're dealing with like maybe some of the Kickstarter type of companies or some of the companies that have just entered into the CNC market and are trying to build software and controls, you'll find out that not all of the standard M G codes are there. They don't have functionality for CAN cycles um, or the way that they uh, interpret the M and G codes may not conform with, you know, FANUC type A or FANUC type B. Uh, they wind up doing things their own way. That's not a problem with the software. 
it is uh, reading the M&G codes in industry standard format, um, just like you would, you know, you would see on any professional CNC machine, because this is professional CNC control software. It has user definable custom macros and uh, they can be assigned to M codes. You can also assign those custom macros to buttons on the interface. There's a, there's a couple of auxiliary buttons. You can write your own uh, macros and make buttons execute them, or you can uh, attach your macros to an M code. That's a really good feature. It's very flexible. And like most CNC control systems, there's a PLC script running in the background. You can edit that, and um, that basically gives you unlimited levels of customization. So uh, that's there if you want to get into it. The uh, documentation for all of this is available. It's pretty good. And um, you know the, the programming format for the uh, PLC is, you know, it's discernible. It's not a very, you know, cryptic language. You can you can read the manual and read through the PLC program, and it it makes sense. So, um, so there's documentation there. The documentation is really good. Now, most users will not need to edit the PLC script, and the reason is their setup wizard will configure everything for you. Matter of fact, it's probably going to configure like 80, 90 percent of anything you could imagine. Uh, it, their wizard works really well. So most people aren't really going to have to mess around with the PLC. The, the setup wizards, it's going to take care of you. It'll have you covered. But it's nice to know that all that functionality is there if you need it. The software supports all standard CAN cycles. You know, anything you can imagine is available. It's there and it works. The system handles backlash compensation. And that's a big deal because, um, well, that's a problem right now with Mach 4. Uh, and it's a problem with other CNC uh, control systems available for the DIY user. They don't handle backlash compensation well. And the reason is it's complicated. Um, you know, as your software is, you know, pr uh, planning the trajectory for your cut, it's not just calculating where you want it to go. It's also calculating all the adjustments, all the compensations for, for backlash. And it has to synchronize all these things. And if you're doing high-speed machining or 3D surfacing, right, it's got to do all, all three axes at one time. It's, it, it's taxing uh, on the software, and it's, it's complicated to figure out. So what you're going to find is, this was a frustration for me with Mach 4, um, there really weren't a lot of options to, to make backlash compensation work. I wound up having to buy a very expensive motion control board uh, to find someone that had backlash compensation working for Mach 4. So I threw this in here. The Centroid software and hardware handles backlash compensation very well. Software handles probing, uh, does it really well. Um, all different types of probing. It handles cutter compensation, obviously. It uh, does that. Uh, just the way it's supposed to. Uh, work offsets, you know, your G54, G55, um, it's all there. This control system will handle subprograms and, and macros. That's a really big deal because um, this is actually the one of the first DIY uh, packages that handles, like, like I'll call, it, it's called FANUC Macro B. So let's call it macro B. It's uh, do while statements, uh, go to, uh, all these commands that you can use to write, uh, you know, sort of automate things. The software can do it. It can do it just like a real CNC machine would because this is real CNC control software. Uh, it also has a very full featured uh, conversational programming interface. So if you don't know how to write MNG code programs, that's okay because uh, the conversational programming interface will help you create your programs. And it's, it's way better than what you had in Mach 3. Mach 3 really, it kind of, it didn't do that function very well. Mach 4 is better at that than Mach 3 was. Uh, but this software has, the CNC12 software from Centroid has a really good conversational programming interface 
And uh, it's that, that alone uh, is, is a powerful point. There's so many more features in the software. I, I don't have time to talk about all of them. If you want to read it, you know, look at their website, uh, check out their documentation. But the gist of it is, is this is a real full featured CNC control system. This isn't anything that's done halfway. This is industry standard. It's designed to cater to professionals and they've, they have been catering to professionals for a very long time. And all that experience and knowledge is translating now into a product that's at a price point available for hobbyists and DIY users. Uh, the software is available on three levels. There's a free version, there's what they call the pro version, and then there's the ultimate version. The, the free version is going to be powerful enough for uh, users who need simple programs less than 50 kilobytes. And 50 kilobytes is actually a, a fairly good size program. So if you're just doing basic shapes, basic profiles, um, you'll probably be okay with the free version. The pro version, uh, it allows for longer programs, up to four megabytes. It accommodates more work offsets, more tool offsets. It gives you more probing routines, and it actually gives you some limited uh, scanning routines. So the pro version is probably where most people, I think that's probably what most people, if you can't use the free version, if you need a little more, I think pro version is gonna cover 99.9% .9 of the people. Um, four megabytes is a pretty big program. Uh, there's plenty of work offsets in the pro version. The uh, plenty of tool offsets and uh, the programming routines are cool and it even like it says limited scanning so it gives you a couple of probing routines where you can take like up to like I believe 2,500 points maybe it's 25,000 points I have to check the documentation but the point of it is is it's not just picking up edges finding the center of circles they actually give you an option in the pro version to do 3d scanning uh, 3D scanning of complex surfaces. That's really cool. The ultimate version, ultimate version allows unlimited program length, um, has even more work offsets, even more tool offsets. It gives you every type of probing and scanning routine you can imagine. So uh, there's probably some users out there that need that. Um, and if you need it, it's it's available for $4.99, which you know that's not cheap, but really. When you think about what you're getting, the level of software and what it's doing, $4.99 is, is a, a huge bargain for that functionality. And as I said before, I think most users, um, if you can't get away with the free version, I think most people will be fine with the $99 Pro version. That's what I plan on using for my projects, and I really can't see a need for anything uh, more than that for what I'm going to get into. Uh, the software, it supports an X keys keypad, and you can also use an Xbox controller as a remote pendant. I really like the Xbox controller for that. Uh, that's what I'm using. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to configure. You have to use, you use a software, um, a little, a little add in piece of software that costs $6 to, uh, help the Xbox controller talk to the CNC software. It's, it's a really nice setup. It's really clean. It's easier to configure. It's, it's, it's definitely what, worth $6. If you want to spend a little bit more money, I think, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of $100, you can get one of these X keys keypads. Um, they're both good options. And, uh, I just wanted to put that in there because a lot of people, you know, they expect to be able to use a pendant. Well, you have good choices, good options for pendants. Frustration-free installation. This is a big deal. In fact, this is one of the best things about this Acorn package from Centroid. There is seamless integration between the software and the motion controller. The software and the hardware come from the same company. It's designed by the same group of people. It's built to work with each other. There's no need to deal with, you know, all these uh, third-party hardware plugins and all these drivers and all these things that you have to configure. Updates to the CNC12 software will automatically send the firmware updates to the Acorn motion controller board. 
So it's it's like one stop shopping when when you do get a software update. The CNC 12 software is taking care of the Acorn board for you. Um, it's really nice. Where if you're a Mach 3 user or a Mach 4 user, you're used to this like world where, you know, Artsoft gives you the software, but then um, Warp 9 or some other motion controller board, you know, they have all their plugins and everything. So you're always like second guessing, like, well, if I take the update to Mach 4, you know, are all my plugins going to stop working, or, you know. I want to take the latest update for Mach 4, but I can't because the plugins only work with the older version of Mach 4. And uh, you just, you know, you feel like you're constantly reinventing the wheel in that paradigm. Where uh, with the Centroid system, all those problems go away because the people who make the software also control the hardware, and they just work with each other really nicely, and it is way easier to deal with. Um, compared to the situation where your software and your hardware come from two different companies. Uh, Frustration-free installation. So they give you these, the setup wizard to help put your package together. And what's cool about this is it has pre-configured profiles for many popular drivers, such as, you know, Gecko, ClearPath, and LeadShine. So, like, literally, like all the little things that you need to like sit and figure out and search on the internet and read manuals and ask questions, all that stuff is like pre-engineered for you. All you have to do is like literally click a radio button and it's there. And also if you want to do something that's not there, it's really easy uh, to, to make changes to these default settings. So, so if, if you, if you're using something that's listed with a radio button, you click and you're there. Uh, if you're using something that's not, um, well, you can change it. But this wizard is really nice. It really makes it easy to uh, set up your CNC system. Uh, another nice thing about this is, you know, it's simple. But, you know, the, the old paradigm where your software and your hardware are from two different companies, you run into this, this scenario where you want to change a setting but you're not sure if that setting is in the, the software itself or if the setting is part of the plugin for your hardware. That can be really confusing. But with the, the Centroid package, that confusion goes away because the software and the hardware are controlled by the same group of people. It comes from the same company. You don't have that duplication of you know, um, you know, parameters. There's, if there's a setting, there's only one place to change the setting. You don't have to look in two different places and second guess and experiment. It's just a lot more straightforward. This is really cool. So they provide detailed wiring diagrams for you know all the popular motors and drivers and associated switches and sensors. I have one of them here on the slide, but there are many available. When you uh, go to their website, they, they have these wiring diagrams for all the popular hardware. And what's nice is even if you're not using exactly you know, what's listed, chances are what you have is going to be similar to one of these, uh, one of these products. Um, so it's just, it makes your life a lot easier to install this. You can really tell when you look at these, these wiring diagrams that uh, the people at Centroid, you know, you can tell that they know what they're doing and you can tell that they're used to dealing with professionals. You know, they're used to dealing with people who um, don't have a lot of time to mess around and, and you know, play with things. You, you can tell they're dealing with people that just want to get their machines up and running and, and make money with them. So uh, this is really cool. This documentation is great. Their user manuals are comprehensive. They're easy to understand. And they also have a good online user forum. There's uh, user, YouTube videos are appearing every day that are explaining how to use their products. So lots of good support for this product. It's really well documented. It's really well supported. So why, why is Centroid better? Why is it a better option? First of all, like we've mentioned before, uh, the guys at Centroid are professionals. So 
they for 30 years have been catering to the professional CNC world, you know, people who make a living with their equipment. Um, and they're taking all that experience from the professional world and they're entering into the, the hobby and DIY world where the other options are the opposite. They, they, they start it out in the hobby DIY world. And, um, now they're trying to maybe like penetrate the professional market. So it's just, it's just a totally different paradigm. The people at Centroid, their business is built around supporting real machinists who count on their equipment to make a living. Um, that's what they've been doing for 30 years. The CNC 12 software is very stable and has many years of proven performance in shops all over the world. So, you know, like we said, we're, People who are making parts for a living don't have time to, to experiment and be guinea pigs and try things. They just want their products, their, their hardware and their software to work. So the CNC 12 software has, it's been, uh, established. It's been, the bugs have been worked out of it. It's, it, it's fully functional. You don't have to sort of like wonder like, Hey, does this feature work? Oh, it's not available yet. Oh, it'll be available in the next release. Oh, there's bugs with it. We know there's bugs. Yeah, we're going to fix it on the next release. All that stuff that's been worked out, it was worked out a long time ago. So all the features work and they've been working for many years. And uh, as we said before, there's no need to constantly update plugins and drivers. The uh, Centroid software fully supports turning. This is another big deal. If you're uh, used to using Mach 3, then you know that, you know, Mach 3 turning was always kind of an afterthought. It really wasn't, it wasn't real good. There were a lot of things that you had to work around. Um, Mach 4 is, is better. It accommodates turning better, but, uh, the Centroid software and hardware is fully functional. It, it handles turning very well. They've been retrofitting turning centers for years. So, um, it's there, it's ready to go. Uh, another really good point. It utilizes, utilizes a differential quadrature encoder feedback, uh, for the spindle. So their board, you can buy a real encoder, plug it right into their board. And what happens is you now have extremely accurate CNC threading. You have really good, true constant surface speed control if you want to you know do g96 constant surface feed um, spindle control um, and it has industry standard tool and work offset control so you know like i said in mach 3 the way that it did work offsets and especially tool offsets was kind of weird you had to work around the shortcomings um, that's not a problem with centroid so if you're into turning and you want to put their product on a lathe it's really good. It's, it's there. Uh, it's not an afterthought. It, it works. So even though it's a full featured, very powerful package, it's easy to set up because there's less confusion. It's just a lot easier to work with this because the hardware and the software come from one company and it's really well thought out. Uh, so, you know, their wizard really helps it. All the pre-configured settings are good. Uh, it's just a well-engineered product. I just don't know how else to describe, to describe it other than that. And right now, it is a phenomenal deal at $265. Uh, at first, when I saw the price for this uh, package, I was like, oh, this can't be any good. That's too cheap. How could it be worth anything? It's only $265. This, this stuff, in my opinion, should really be selling for about $500, but right now they're, they're offering at 265. It's sort of a pro promotional price because they're trying to get people, uh, they're trying to get people's attention and build up, you know, the user base. Um, it's a bargain. It's a bargain for $265. I highly recommend giving it a try. Uh, personally, I plan on converting all of my Mach 3 and Mach 4 stuff over to this uh, Centroid Acorn system. And, um, you know, I'm quite happy to do so. All right. Well, that's my last slide. 
And, you know, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this video is a little bit longer than what I wanted it to be, but there's a lot of information in here and I wanted to cover it all. I will throw some hyperlinks in the description of this video so you can jump out to the Centroid website and, uh, you know, see what that's all about. And I may even create a Dropbox location to uh, put some documentation in so you can look at their documentation. Uh, we'll see about that. But I'm definitely, I'll put the hyperlinks in the description so you can see uh, their website and get to it easily. All right, well, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, be safe.